it's Trish and this is Fold of the Week, a show where I share powerful print marketing ideas to help you achieve success on any budget. This week I've got something fun. I'm going to show you three different ways to fold a marketing brochure using an equilateral triangle as the finished shape. Sound interesting? Let's take a closer look. This first example is probably my favorite triangle shaped folding configuration where the triangular shaped panels roll out. Technically, this is called a triangular snake fold. The panels roll out and around and the finished shape is a hexagon. And you can see when I lay it out flat that each panel has to get a little bit smaller as it goes around. So the die for this is pretty complex actually. And you may be wondering how a brochure like this can be mailed. This one was sent in a square envelope. Next up is a configuration where each side of the triangle has a panel that hinges off of it. Loyal Fold of the Week viewers would probably recognize through the characteristics of the fold that it's a triangular cross fold. So it's cool how it finishes to the same shape as the previous sample, but makes an entirely different geometric shape when it's folded out flat. In this case, it makes a large equilateral triangle. This last one is fun and crazy. Think about stringing a bunch of equilateral triangles together and accordion folding them down. That's what we're doing. What's neat to look at with this one is that you could alternate the triangles right side up and upside down to create a straight line. I'll fake it for you here so you can see what I mean. Or you can do what they've done here, which is make them into more of a herringbone pattern when it's unfolded. Neither approach is better than the other, they're just different. All three of these triangle shaped marketing brochures look the same when folded, but each one folds in a different way. We saw a roll technique, a cross, and an accordion. For the record, you could also tri-fold three triangular shaped panels and parallel or gatefold four. Each of the three samples I shared today make a different shape when laid out flat. We saw a hexagon, a larger triangle, and a herringbone pattern. That's a lot of creative options and a lot to think about. Now it's important to note that these are specialty formats that are die cut, scored, and hand folded. They're eye catching when used as tabletop brochures for events or as leave behinds at meetings. Shapes are great for promotions and mail too, but if you're sending these through the mail, they will definitely need an envelope. A very special thanks to the creators of the samples featured in this episode for sharing their solutions with us. If you've ever been inspired by something you've seen on the show, please consider folding it forward and sharing your work too. If you're looking for more ideas, downloads, and templates, visit foldfactory.com. And remember, think finishing at the beginning. I'll see you next week. Bye.